with the Equinox one. But that one sounds interesting. I, I, I like how it sounds, but it also sounds like it sounds to like a like an equilibrium or something. But I have no clue that's gonna come about. Like, what would it be balancing? So, like, if I, if Vanilla X Equinox wins the vote, um, it, that's kind of like one of those concepts that's really hard to tackle since it's kind of like abstract. But during an equinox, certain things happen on the planet. Like the equinox is something that signifies to animals, plants, and humans, like different behaviors come about after an equinox has happened or while it's taking place. Like some people have said that like their dogs start exhibiting different behaviors whenever an equinox happens. Uh, there's like research showing like that plants and other things do different behaviors after an equinox. But one of the main things is like we go through daylight savings time and that's and when and when it begins and ends, it's kind of based around an equinox. Uh, like it, daylight savings usually happens like around the time of an equinox and it kind of ends around the time of the next equinox. So like different behaviors exist and different patterns exist that would allow me to like, you know, focus on that. Like, is this plant now blooming or is this plant not blooming now? So like, you know, the planet would smell differently if this flower is no longer blooming as a whole. Cause it's because of the equinox and the amount of sunlight it's getting, it the plant has been signified that it's not getting enough light in the day, or it can't survive because it's not getting enough light in the day because of what happened with the equinox. So um, if that's the case, would that mean that the equinox through is kind of like based on like how earth was smelling and like the change? Yes. Of the I would have to like I would have to base it on like planetary changes that are happening because of us being in alignment with the sun. But the equinox is just like that moment where that happens. But once that happens, like Earth's axis is tilted in a different direction and it doesn't go back to that normal direction for like a year. You know? Um because that's how that's why we have like that same equinox happening like twice or whatever every year. There's there's two solstices and two equinoxes. And so, like, during each of those, that's kind of like how the seasons come into play. So, like, an equinox, I would just have to choose which one, if that's the one where we've started daylight savings time or where we've ended daylight savings time. And if it was, like, the fall equinox, that would, that would tell me to make the fragrance like this. If it was, like, the spring equinox, it would tell me to make the fragrance like this. So, like, it's not specific to which equinox. So I could also make a combination of spring and fall in that fragrance. That one's really complex. I don't see it winning, but if it did, that would be a challenge. That would be hard to tackle. Like, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. so now, you got three potential like really complicated ones. Which, which one do you 